Sister Anita Butler, age 86. Today's date, April the 11th, 2023, at Providence Mount St. Vincent and a colleague. I'm Molly Swain. We're here at Providence Mount St. Vincent in Seattle, Washington, and I'm with my colleague and friend, Sister Anita Butler. So Sister Anita, thank you so much for joining us today and allowing us to walk through your story a bit, especially as we look at the mission of the Sisters of Providence and how it has unfolded here at Providence Mount St. Vincent for almost 100 years. So I kind of like to start at the beginning with you. I know you were born in LA, and then can you tell us about your formation as a young girl, then the decision to become a sister? In the fourth grade, I started going to St. Pinbar School, which was just a brand new parish school in Burbank where I lived. And the Sisters of Providence were the teachers at that school. That was my first connection with the sisters. When I graduated from the eighth grade, I went to Immaculate Heart High School in Hollywood, California. I did that because my mother's two sisters were Immaculate Heart sisters. They thought I should go to school there. At that time also, two of the sisters at St. Pinbar started a sodality for high school girls. I belong to that sodality. Toward the end of that time when I was in high school, the general leadership team from Montreal came to visit St. Pinbar. They had some of us in the sodality put on a play to ask the general leadership for a high school. That's how Providence High School came into being. In my junior and senior year, I worked at St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank in the business office and on the switchboard. That's the early days of my life before I entered. Those early roots in being involved in really the formation of the high school and then also being connected to Providence in the business office maybe planted some seeds to your future finance role and as an educator would you say there was some early seeds of interest? Mm -hmm. (laughs) I got a bachelor's degree in education from the University of Great Falls now the University of Providence and I taught in a number of schools in the Archdiocese of Seattle and down in Burbank. I went to Loyola in Los Angeles and got a master's degree with a specialization in high school administration. That kind of started my high school career. And then I got sent up to Seattle. The academic vice principal position at Kennedy High School in Seattle opened up. And so the community asked me to apply for that position, which I got. In my fifth year, I got this notice to come in for an interview to learn about what the treasurer's job for the community was like. I did the interview, and then I went back (laughs) to being busy at school. It was at a time when I had 32 sections of English I had to meet with to talk about the schedules for the coming school year. So I was really busy, and I got this call. They wanted to take me out to lunch. And I said, you know, I really can't go because all these people are depending on me. And they said, dinner then. So I went out to dinner, and I was asked to make a 10-year commitment to go into finance, do one year of internship, and then nine years in the position. When my 10 years of time were up, I ended up going down to Portland. The Elder Place program that we had in Portland was part of a division that they later called long-term care. And the people who work in that program of services for the elderly asked if I could be the head of their division. I actually then did that. I'd like to do a little transition to where we are here today at Providence Mount St. Vincent, where we certainly provide a great deal of charity care to elders who have outlived their financial resources. And a number of years ago, you said yes to serving on our foundation board of directors who predominantly help make that possible each year for those in our care. I am very committed to our mission. I see Mount St. Vincent as really where our mission is, is really carried out very strongly. What do you feel is at the heart of that when you reflect on that? Before we built St. Joseph Residence, part of this building was 
where I lived when I entered. I lived here for two years. So I used to deliver food and work in the kitchen and work in the garden. It's kind of like you become a part of it. And I'm very aware of what our mission is. And I observe that and I look for it. So I saw that here. Thank <laughs> you.